All right, it's time for another episode of our Guild of One playthrough, and we are in the Iron Mines of Moladune. Uh, I think this is the mission where we get our infused armor, and we can actually start fighting the Mursat. Um, let's get started. I'm going to bring up my heroes, standard heroes uh, team lineup. There we go. Yeah, we. I mean, we have seven out of eight of the henchmen. I I said heroes. I meant henchmen. Uh, we're still not bringing brawler. I like Stefan. He's got interrupts. But anyway, let's hit it. Tell you a little bit about my build. I'm using a standard, old school, fragility spiker build. I used to run this build in PvP, and yeah, it is kind of a PvP build, but I'm. I loved it so much. I want to see what it's like to use in PvE. We adapted it a little bit with some energy uh, tap and ether feast, as well as empathy. I almost brought backfire instead, but we'll see how it goes. The idea is we just we just burst down the enemies with as much con as many conditions as possible. I think I need to wait for this battle to finish, though. I don't want to interrupt it too soon. These ice golems are going to be... Hey, who wins this? I want the ice golems to get taken out. They have that rust skill and water trident. It's really annoying to deal with. It looks like the stone summit are going to win. Go ahead and take out these stragglers here. All right, fragility, phantom pain, better. Oh, he ran out of the range. But you saw all those numbers pop up. Empathy for the melee guys. Oh, use energy tap there. Yeah, I'm gonna take out that guy first. Come on, interrupt him! I don't remember Verlins having such a long casting time. I guess we need- I need to get a fast casting rune is what I need. Well, where are they going? I think we just did too damage- too much damage to them, they just ran away. What are they? Yeah, they're just like running away from us. Very strange. Man, this build is so much fun. Spamming away. Look at those numbers, man. This is where Mesmer really starts to get, become a powerhouse. There's a couple of uh, elite skills I'm looking for this mission. There's a really good necromancer skill called Spiteful Spirit, Curse Ability. It's kind of like an AoE Empathy. And there's a... Oh, there's Mursat over here. Oh, there's Marquis. That's who we need to take out this mission, I think. We're gonna head... Away from... I think we need to head away from the Mursat, so we're gonna go... This river path, maybe? Yeah. We're trying to meet up with the Seer. So right now, we're too weak to fight the... We're, or not too weak, but we're unequipped to fight the Mursat. What was I talking about? Elite skills, yeah. So Spiteful Spirit, we hope... We, uh, I'm looking for that skill. And then... There's a Mursat, I think, that carries energy surge which is probably the strongest mesmer elite so if we see that we're definitely going to capture that skill and then there's also another one called illusionary weaponry which i think i kind of want it just for the just for the role play power it's such a cool ability so i think whichever one we see first we're going to cap Honestly, I don't expect to be able to get energy surge yet. There's going to be other opportunities for that anyway. Ah, so this has a lot of 
enemies just popping up out of the ground. Are they fighting each other? Yeah, they're fighting each other, it looks like. Cool. So giants are afraid of shadows, it looks like. Also need to keep an eye on, like, even if I don't inflict the, the condition, I can still use virulence like that. I can use it on that. Yeah. Casting time was too slow. But... Yeah, it just, this virulence activates as long as they're suffering from a condition. And notice we do not have any attributes put into curses because we don't want any. We want this to have a really low cooldown so that the fragility activates twice. Pretty, pretty cool build. Like classic prophecies, random arena. You played back in the day, you remember this build, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it puts... How many conditions on it? Deep Wound. And I'm trying to think, can you be poisoned and diseased at the same time? Pretty sure they cancel each other out. I need for this build though. I really need what I really need is a 20 20, uh, 20 percent cooldown chance and 20 percent reduced activation time chance. That would really make this build shine. I think. I actually I don't think I'm needing this ether feast. It's turning out to be a dead skill. I'm not really I'm not getting prioritized prioritized at all by the enemy. Huge numbers, man. Love it. Love to see it. All right, there's a couple different routes I need to take. Some, oh, th these are dead ends. Okay, that makes my job easier. I was like, how many caves are we going through here? I'm pretty sure if you play this mission coming from, like, if you're a Prophecies or Nightfall character, I'm pretty sure you don't need to get infused. Am I right or wrong about that? I think, I think if you go through, like, the equivalent of Ascension in Prophecies, or in Factions in Nightfall, your armor is automatically infused. I might be wrong, but I seem to remember it that way. And then if that's the case, you don't need to be going, you don't need to even go this back way. Oh, which way do we need to go? Got two routes here. Looks like they kind of go the same way. We'll go to the path of least resistance here. is a good skill to cast while I'm waiting for the cooldown of my other skills. Oh, this skill bar is pretty cool because it basically I have something to do at all times. I can either pull off my combo, kind of like assassin play style, and then while the combo is recharging, I just, you know, cast empathy, recharge my health, recharge my mana. A lot of activity. Also kind of like with the interrupts I was I was finding with the different interrupts and the different like domination shutdown skills I was finding myself like not being able to multitask too easily and I was like analysis paralysis kind of situation but this build it kind of makes the decision for you if fragility phantom pain if your if your combo is up ready to cast you use that if it's not, then you cast your other skills. 
makes it very easy. Nice fiery dragon sword. It'd be awesome if he dropped that. Need some energy to pull off her combo here. Very cool. Oh, I thought he had... Dang, I thought he had condition. I mean, the casting cost of these skills are pretty low. Everything's 5 energy anyway. Can I, can I fire this? Oh, I can fire it too. Boss down there. Yeah. Guess we go down this way. Let's let me scout this area. I feel like I don't want to go there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think we can avoid the shots actually. Little texture clipping action right there. Nothing to see here. We'll take out this bo this solo boss just for the morale boost. The downside of this build back in the day, the reason why it was not very great is because it wasn't that bursty versus um, like tanky, like warriors. You would want to use it only on casters. But since the they changed the way chaos damage works, I believe this, this damage is effective against anyone with regardless of the armor class. I don't think this is the way to go, actually. Can we keep going up here? No? Okay. This is the way to go. We don't want to go inside there, though. That's for sure. But, okay, so Shining Blade Scout Rider. He's the um, bonus, I believe. But we cannot get in there yet until we're uh, attuned. Low car, ice mender. Look at that damage. He's got this mark of protection. It's a really, I think I mentioned it earlier in an earlier video. It's a really good monk ability. Funny, these bosses are just solo in here. I guess they, they think they don't need any bodyguards. This is not the way to go. We need to go that way. Let's try not to aggro all of these guys. It's not that big a deal, I guess. They're just warriors. I get a group fragility on these guys. Yeah, fragility is an AOE hex too. Very strong. There you go. We are breezing through this mission. Okay, the seer should be coming up here soon. Hmm. 
<laughs> is don't stand a chance. I mean, even if you are infused, though, it seems like you would want to go this route anyway, because it's just much easier than dealing with all those white mantle and mersat. I mean, whoops. Dang, fat finger hit. I mean, even though you're attuned, it doesn't make you, like, invulnerable to the Mursat. They're still going to be pretty tough to deal with. Wow, they take so much... They take so much burst damage from this. They just run away. You see that? He just did not want anything to do with me. But technically, this DPS burst, it's its more of a spiker. So it just deals so much damage in a short amount of time. I think it overrides the AI a bit and just makes them want to get out of there ASAP. <sighs> Holy cow. What the heck? Are we going the wrong way? Ooh. I think we want to go this way. Jeez. Yeah, Kratos the Foul. He's a Mursat boss, so we want to avoid that. Were they constantly firing, or did they just fire when we got close? Because that was like no warning whatsoever. Oh, they're using Spellbreaker. I can't cast spells on them. For some reason, I could cast Virulence. That was weird. Nice. Interrupted the uh, Spellbreaker. A nice ability, Spellbreaker. Okay. Very winding path here. No interrupt there. They're still vulnerable to conditions. That's a good thing. And they don't seem to have any enchantment removal. Okay, this is Spiteful Spirit. Ah, oh, do we cap this here? I think we got to. It's a nice skill. Whoops. kind of want to capture... Illusionary Weaponry, but there's no... There's no guarantee that we'll see it this mission. Torn. Let's let's at least look at it. Enchantments on me. I think uh, Alicia and Lena are pretty capable healers now. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at this. Fightful spirit, spinal shivers. That's a cool spell too. For 8 seconds, whenever target foe attacks or uses a skill, Spiteful Spirit deals 5 shadow damage to that foe and all adjacent allies of that foe. Yeah, so it's basically empathy. Does, does it count as... Uh, I think skill in this case counts as like any skill, like skill or spell, right? So it's kind of like empathy and uh, backfire combined. But it also does AoE. Really good skill. Uh, I think I want to pass and wait for a Mesmer ability. Can I come back for it though? Where's his body at? Yeah, I can come back for it. If I don't find the illusion boss, I'll, I'll run back here, okay? Okay, this mission is really no problem for us so far. And I think we're getting to the main cave where the seer is. So weakness is the only thing that works on them, these shadows, because they don't have any blood. Disease, poison doesn't work, but they do get weakness. Oof, that was a big spike. That time, Ether Feast came in handy. I feel like we saw Azure Remains uh, Collector in the last video. I don't think we were impressed by the items, though. Alright, there's a Seer. Nice. Yeah, so they only take 20, 21 damage. These guys are kind of a counter to us. If we are heavy, even our henchmen are pretty heavy on the conditions. But these guys are kind of immune to a lot of them. Disease immune, bleeding immune. I don't think they're deep wound immune though. Yeah, they're not. They still get deep wounded. Here, we're here. You know what? At this point, wow, level 30. Holy cow. At this point, though, I'm really surprised that we're still like thrusting people. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a Mursat. He looks evil. Get it. Take a quick screenshot. You are the ascended ones the dragon fiend has spoken of. Come in. Come in. I've been expecting you. Who are you? Listening. By now, you have realized that the Massad cannot be defeated with the tools you now possess. Yes. Go on. For centuries, my kind has fought the Massad. I know the rituals that can give you at least some protection from their agonizing charge. And you will perform these rituals for us? Yes. But why? Why help us? Because if the prophecies are to be believed, you will do what my entire race could not. You are going to destroy the Mursat. What would you have us do? In a cave to the east lies a bestial creature made from magus and shade. This creature has a natural defense against the magics of the Mursat. Bring me 
the spectral essence of this beast, and I will infuse its protection into your arm. Okay, that's pretty creepy. Oh, we're just like auto running away. I guess the game didn't, the devs didn't want us to get lost. It was just, oh, illusionary. Okay, this is the, this is the boss we want to cap. Yeah, they didn't want us to get lost, so it just sent us back here. That's nice of them. This is the skill we wanted. We're gonna have fun with this next mission. Illusionary weaponry. He only has three skills. I like that they give you this hint of having illusion and of weakness with illusionary weaponry. So what it does is your melee attacks for 30 seconds neither hit nor fail to hit. Instead, illusionary weaponry deals 42 damage to your targets for me each melee attack. And you have plus five armor for each equipped illusion magic skill. Well, we're going to have fun with that next. I just need a melee weapon to equip to see it in action. I don't have any melee weapon actually. But we could use this actually because we have one, two, one, two. Oh, we, we only have two il illusion. I wonder if this counts for each equipped. Yeah, so we have one, two, three illusionary. So we get plus 15 armor just for using it. I find a melee weapon. I'm gonna try it this, this episode. It'll be fun. You know, it's actually been kind of buff since back in the day. Back in the day, it did not give any armor buff whatsoever. At least I don't remember it doing that. I'm always cautious to confidently say stuff like that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, it was changed a little bit. But it's really cool skill. Basically, if you're a Mesmer, you feel like playing a warrior, wannabe, you can use this skill. Kind of crazy that the Seer just wants us to kill this random enemy. I mean, what did it do? Kind of not nice, right? Coming for you, buddy. Adalon. Weren't this weren't Adalons the name of you take 33% less damage from foes under the effect of magic? Wasn't Adalon the name of the summons in Final Fantasy IX? Adalon, I think so. There's a water magic enemy. Really, no chance of defeating us. Sorry, buddy. We were sent here to kill you for your essence. Really. Again, games forcing us to become the villain. I mean, it did call it a beast, and beasts by nature generally need to be hunted, so. I guess that's our defense we can stick with. I'm just. Holding its tentacles, vague body parts, and I'm gonna smear it all over my my clothes. <laughs> that would be quite a sight from the Mursat. We just finished killing this creepy floating squid-looking thing. We smear all of its guts on our body, Predator style or Walking Dead style, and then suddenly the Mursat can't damage us anymore. And I think since we have the attunement, I believe our henchmen, I can't remember if our henchmen are naturally attuned or infused or they become infused with us. That's a, uh, yeah, that's, I'm not sure. 
Here you go. You defeated the Eidolon. Well done. There is enough spectral essence here for everyone to get one set of armor infused. I guess we'll do this. We have a domination mask, but generally I'm using illusion these days, so. Here you go. Infused. Fully infused. Max armor. You have no more armor I can infuse. You are now on even... What if I re-equip this? Ah, uh, okay. So my mask is not infused. That's a bummer. So back in the day, there used to be infusion runs. Where people would just get run all the way up to here to the seer. So they can get their armor infused. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen anymore because people just can make characters in factions and nightfall and not have to worry about it at all. Alright, let's test it out on this Mersat. Take him out first. So he's using Spectral Agony on us and before it used to just totally wreck us. Not anymore. We need to read the details though. So, so far so good. Spectral Agony didn't do much damage to us. Now we're gonna fight two Mersats. They're they're easing us into it. Let's just use it for the kicks. Kicks and giggles. There's that energy surge spell. We'll get it eventually. Whoa, they get bursted down. I shattered fragility by accident. All the priests are harder to kill than that Mersai. Using like shielding hands or something. Okay, now I think we can actually do the bonus. So we're gonna come out on this side. There's Marcus. There he is. So we could end it by going in there to kill him right now, but we're going to go save the scout rider. So we need to backtrack, kind of backtrack a little bit, but not really. We're going to come from the other direction. Hug this wall. Well, we can fight it. I think we're going to have to fight them later anyway. Interrupt it. Chain lightning hurts, man. Aodor the Baneful. I think that's a Necromancer boss. Yeah. This one has... Uh, I can't remember what skill this one has. The Mursai in general have really powerful elite skills though. Generally like... Some of the strongest skills in... Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Some of the strongest skills in um, prophecies, actually. I want to. I want to read the spectral agony details. Oh, it's got life transfer. Look at that damage, man! So happy with this build. Spectral agony. Oh. Can't read it in time. That life transfer and life siphon are really keeping him alive. So we need to head south. I think there's a trick to this. I think the enemy that we need to kill, he's going to spawn here. But I want to clear the way to Ryder. Scout Ryder first.
We might fail this bonus, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because we need to have some um, snare skills. I don't think we have any, actually. We special acting for five seconds. Target for moves, attacks 80% slower. Suffers 24 health regeneration, 81, and loses 81 health each second. That's what it would be doing if we were not confused. Since we are, it just tickles us. Spectral tickling is now <laughs> is now what it should be called. So it's a brutal skill normally though. Okay, the bonus should be up here somewhere. Where was he at? He was calling for help around here, wasn't he? Now that we're infused, these guys just... They're, they're probably as scared as we are, as we were of them before we were infused. Now they're just like, what is this creepy squid gut covered? Monster. I don't know. Level 16. No chance. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, yeah. I forgot those guys give the morale boost. He uses Thunderclap. That's a pretty good skill, too. And I think he's got hex duration reduction, possibly. And someone's curing his conditions. Yeah, the conditions heal so fast. There it goes. Bursty, bursty. All right, this is that bridge that caught us by surprise earlier. I mean, we already have 10 morale boost. We didn't really need to do that, actually. Okay, we're going to come in the back way where Scout Rider was being held. Kind of a long mission. We're going to have to find some ways to speed up some of these sections. Twenty damage each time they recover. That's just, we're with with all the conditions we're doing. It just stacks up so fast. It's almost like our own version of spectral agony. Did we find a melee weapon, by the way? Yeah, we found a falchion. Let's try it. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, we found a sword. Now, <laughs> okay, we're gonna just run up and. Melee some people. So now we get our fourth energy pip. We got a big reduction in energy because our cane is down, but it'll be fun. Faster combo. Whoops. All right, let's see. Let's do the damage in action. Pretty good. Pretty good damage. We still do more damage with our fragility combo, but still. If they run up on us, we can always switch to that. Use it here.
Oh, we walked into a well of profane or something. Disenchanted us. Lame. Have to take him out the old fashioned way. Actually, our energy still stays up pretty good with only 35. Oh, this is energy surge, though. Oh, we could have gotten it this mission, actually. Okay. Velocity Arcane. We'll get him next time. I mean, we're definitely going to be running an energy surge build later anyway. Keep empty on that guy. He's running away, actually. I do more damage than you. This, these these double elite uh, runs though with signet of capture every mission, it makes us kind of OP honestly, especially with this illusion skills. Super overpowered. It would be cool if they made it also that, like, every time I attack, it interrupts them. That would make it a little too strong, though, probably. Like, every time I attack, it interrupts them, and if it interrupts a spell, it does damage. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, we might have over aggroed a bit. We need to back away. Away a little bit. Yeah, we took two. We took on two groups. That was close. Very close. A priest. We're good now. That was actually the closest we came to dying in this whole mission. Over aggroing, it doesn't matter how strong you are, it'll get you in trouble. Gosh, just chunking him down. This is gonna be really fun to play with that later. We might have to go back Crystal Desert to the Crystal Desert to get uh, a warrior secondary though, I just realized. Alright, we're gonna take out this guy and we should be able to fire their own ballista against them maybe maybe not no yeah aggro them now okay The trick is, we need to find... I can't remember where this guy spawns after we talk to the rider guy. Let's clear out all the, these enemies first. Lost my sound there for a second. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's just clear all these guys out. They don't really stand a chance. 
long as I push the right buttons to be okay. Really, I should be switching. Should be switching between my cane and sword when I'm not using the other, one or the other. All right. Where does this boss spawn? I'm pretty sure he spawns like way up there. I'm pretty sure he spawns like up here somewhere. Oh, like right up there, right? Okay, so it looks like he spawns up here. So what we should do is we should park our henchman up here, hopefully. I think he spawns around here. And we already cleared the way, so it should be relatively easy. And then I'm going to go talk to Ryder, activate the bonus, and then our henchman hopefully should be able to handle it. At least hold him until we get there. Yeah, and I should have brought some snaring skills or running skills. I didn't really think about it. Fighting anyone? Talk to him. A caught thunderstorm. Please catch him. Okay. Oh, here he is. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Okay, they're fighting there. Come up from behind. Pincer attack. Oh yeah. Okay, we got it. He's stopping to fight us. Don't kill our priest though. Let's take out the adds first, I guess. All right, this could be bad. He's a lot stronger than we thought. All right, I got him. Oh, this was easy. I thought he spawned like way up here though. The good old pincer attack took him out. And we completed the bonus. Let's finish him off with some illusionary weaponry. Ooh, and a gold armor. Nice drop. Let's see what he got. A, what he dropped for me. Here we go. Inspiration. Self-inspiration. Okay. Not the worst thing ever. We might just sell this for the 200 gold because it's more valuable and I don't see myself using, I don't see myself using a rune of superior inspiration anytime soon. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna speed run. I'm gonna speed this up. We gotta run all the way up here where Marcus is so we can finish the mission now. Speed mode. Yeah, so if he if the Inquisitor had made it to this portal, we would have lost the bonus, so you have a kind of a long way to chase him down. Kind of a hard bonus to lose, I think. Okay, we're here. Time to take out Marcus. This I remember this part of the mission being frustrating as a ranger, because Marcus has a really powerful ability called Barrage. And you have like a split seconds to capture it before the before the mission is finished actually just need to take out these guys whoops he interrupted my phantom pain didn't he nothing a little empathy can't fix and spiked him spiked 
I'm gonna solo this Mursaw Elementalist real quick. Maybe not. There we go. Yeah, he runs away. <laughs> Coward. I think we can just run in here, actually. Okay, that's one side down. No, Stefan. Come on, Stefan. Oh, his AI is broken. All right, let's just go. Take him off the leash. Go get him, Stefan. You have my full permission. Go Leroy Jenkins on him. All right, and with that, the Iron Mind Moladun just about done. Marcus, your time of betrayal is over. We finally figured it out. Okay. We've known for a while there, buddy. Yeah, he's using Barrage. What's, what's he taking that energy reduction from? be the oh okay we do need to take out the jade armors first i guess i was wrong i thought i i, I swear i remember the the it finishing i guess if you do, if you take out the jade armors first before taking out marcus then you miss the barrage so if you're a ranger there it goes yeah that's it finishes immediately Iron Mines of Moladun concluded. May the deaths of all whom you betrayed weigh heavy on you in the afterlife. Thick burn of any of is too good for you, Marcus. May your tortured soul never find peace. Okay, not bad. Oh, the next mission is an epic one. I remember it. Thunderhead Keep, I think, right? going to go back up to the um, northern Sh Shiver Peaks again, I think. Get yourself to safety, brother. Deldrimor cannot afford to lose its capital and its king on the same day. Guards, with me, we are leaving. All right, Thunderhead Keep, there we go. And next episode, we're going to run an Illusionary Weapon Rebuild. I'm excited. I have to figure, I have to take some time to think about it. All right, so where are we? Oh, we're still down here. For some reason, I thought Thunderhead Keep was like way up here. Huh, why did I think that? 
Okay, so... Yeah, from here, we might take a look at some other elite skills or nearby outposts we need to get. But yeah, this is another mission area, so next episode, Thunderhead Keep, plus some a little bit of exploration, I guess. But anyway, this episode's getting a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. We are... We're going steady in this playthrough. It'll be finished in just, uh, you know, just a few episodes, I guess, left. So stay with me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.